Welcome to the show called Beyond Our Galaxy. On today's show, we are going to be talking about our amazing solar system. In the beginning of creation, there was total darkness. And then an explosion occurred. Then the creation of the universe and solar system began to spread outwards. The universe began to take form. The galaxies began to take shape and then stars were formed from gas and dust. Then from the ever expanding universe, planet Earth was created. From here outwards, many other objects were created in our amazing solar system. Planets, moons, comets, Asteroids and meteoroids were created. Then the creation of our solar system with these eight planets were formed as seen here in this picture. Here is a picture of the first four planets in our solar system. These planets are called many things such as terrestrial planets, inner planets, or the minor planets. Here is a picture of the four outer planets. These four giant planets are also called Gas giants. In between the inner and outer planets is something that separates these planets called the asteroid belt. Millions of broken rock float around the sun and stay just inside the planet Mars and Jupiter. Then we have what are called comets, also known as dirty snowballs. These are small rock formations that visit our solar system from time to time and produce a long tail behind its trail. Our final interesting object in our solar system is called a meteor. A meteor is a small body of rock that comes from outer space and when it enters Earth's atmosphere, it begins to break up, leaving a streak of light behind its path as seen here in this picture. Planet Mercury, God of Commerce. Distance from the sun, about 36 million miles away. Orbital time around the sun, 88 days. Day's length, 58 days, 15 hours, and 30 minutes. Number of moons, zero. Atmosphere, none. Here is a picture view of Planet Mercury's makeup. One crust, two mantle, three core. Planet Mercury. Temperatures, minus 279 degrees Fahrenheit at night, 801 degrees Fahrenheit during the daytime. An Atlas Centaur rocket launches Mariner 10 spacecraft in space, launched November 3rd, 1973. Mariner 10 spacecraft, 10-year mission to planet Mercury. Two mission purposes, one to measure environment, atmosphere, surface. To perform interplanetary experiments. Under 10 spacecraft arriving at planet Mercury. Arriving at planet Mercury on March 29, 1974. Mirror 10 time in service was 10 years. Mirror 10 is now shut down and believed to be orbiting around the sun. Delta 2 rocket blasts off from Cape Kennedy with Messenger Space Probe on board. Launch date August 3rd, 2004. Mission time 10 years, 8 months, and 28 days. Western spacecraft arrives at planet Mercury on March 17th, 2011. A robotic kind of spacecraft. Messenger's mission study Mercury's chemical composition, geology, and magnetic field. Mercury is formed like Earth's moon with many crater impacts from comets and other objects. Mercury is not a very good place to live on at all. Messenger's disposition crashed into Mercury to end mission in 2014. Planet Mercury and Earth's moon seen here in this picture. The moon, Mercury, and Venus seen at nighttime in this picture. We now travel to our next inner planet of our amazing solar system. Planet Venus, second planet from our sun, about 67.5 million miles from the sun, length of a day, 116 days, 18 hours, and 0 minutes. 
Orbit the Sun, 224 days. Planet Venus rotates in the opposite direction. Zero moons. Daytime temperature, 864 degrees. Chemical makeup, sulfur dioxide, 96.6%. Carbon dioxide, 3.5%. Planet Venus can be seen in the darker side of this nighttime picture. Venus is transit in front of the sun. A transit is when a planet crosses over the disk of our sun. The last transit of Venus was on June 5, 2012. Planet Venus seen in the early morning skies near the Earth's moon. A false color image of Matt Mons on Venus. Venus has many volcano activities going on on top of its surface. Venus's atmosphere is not a very hospitable place to take a vacation at or live on. Lightning strikes and volcano activities make this an unlivable place to be. Between 1961 and 1984, the Russians launched a series of Venera space probes to the planet Venus. Venera probes 1 through 16 were sent to Venus. Venera 4 space probe, launch date October 18, 1967. Duration of mission to Venus, 127 days. Venera 4 finds Venus has carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen composition. Venera 4 was launched on a Molera rocket in Russia. Venera's mission lasted 23 minutes around planet Venus. Venera 7 space probe. First space probe to land on another planet and to transmit back to Earth pictures of the planet. Venera 7 was launched into space on August 17, 1970. Launched into space from Russia. Venera 7 arrives at Venus on December 15, 1970 and descends on its surface. Venera 7 lands on Venus and transmits pictures back to Earth for 53 minutes. First pictures relayed back to Earth from Venera 7, seen here in this picture. Venera space probe's transmissions back to Earth lasted anywhere from 23 minutes to 2 hours. Now the Americans send their space probes to Venus. Mariner and Magellan space probes. Mariner 1 space probe. Total cost $18.5 million. Mission Fly by Venus. Launch date July 22, 1962. On board an Atlas rocket seen here in this picture. After 4 minutes and 53 seconds into the mission, the rocket space probe was destroyed because of an error code. Time to go back to the old drawing board and start over. Mariner 2 space probe was launched on August 27, 1962. Launched successfully from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Mariner 2 takes about three and a half months to fly through space towards planet Venus. Mariner 2 weighs about 446 pounds. Mariner 2 arrives at planet Venus on December 14, 1962. The space probe scans planet Venus for about 42 minutes as it flies by it. Last contact with Mariner 2 was on January 3rd, 1963. The late President John F. Kennedy, seen here in this picture, receives a model of Mariner 2 space probe. The President is presented this model by the director of JPL, who was Dr. William H. Ackering. Our last space probe we now take a look at that flew to Venus is Magellan Space Probe, launched on board the Atlanta Space Shuttle from Cape Kennedy, Florida, launched on May 4th, 1989. Deployed from Atlantis and launched from the Space Shuttle on May 5th, 1989. Total cost of the space probe, $680 million. It takes Magellan about 15 months to arrive at planet Venus. Magellan Space Probe arrived at planet Venus on August 10th, 1980. Magellan Space Probe's mission was to do the following in the next picture. Map the planet Venus. Magellan Space Probe masked Venus for four years. From 1990 to 1994. Magellan Space Probe terminates its mission by falling into the planet Venus and crash on October 13, 1994. Our next planet, which is everybody's favorite one of all, is Planet Earth. Third planet from the Sun. Population 7 billion Earthlings. One satellite that orbits it. Planet Earth has oxygen and water for Earthlings to live here. Earth is the fifth largest planet in our amazing solar system. 
Earth has five oceans and seven continents. Earth is almost 8,600 miles big in size. Earth is perfectly located about 93 million miles away from the sun. Planet Earth tilts on a 23 and a half degrees as it opens the sun. It has four seasons as well, which are winter, spring, summer, and fall. Besides just earthlings existing here on planet Earth, there are millions and millions of trees and plants on Earth as well. Millions of different kinds of animals, both tamed and untamed, live here also. Millions and millions of different kinds of bugs as well. Some good bugs and some not so good bugs exist on planet Earth. Planet Earth has millions of miles of farmland to grow food and feed the earthlings. Earthlings also farm to help feed the tamed animals as well. Earth has one satellite called the moon. It is located about 230,000 miles away and is kept in check by what is called gravity. On July 20th, 1969, man stepped foot on the moon for the very first time. Earth's moon affects such things like the oceans and the tidal waves as well. Indeed, Earth is a beautiful place for Earthlings to live on. Someday, Earthlings will be using the moon to proceed to our next planet of the solar system, planet Mars. Planet Mars, fourth terrestrial planet from the sun as seen here in this picture. Distance from the sun, about 141 million miles from Earth. 48.6 million miles. Planet Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Phobos, 3,700 miles away from Mars. Orbits Mars once every eight hours. Phobos is only about 10 miles big. Deimos, 14,580 miles from Mars. Orbits Mars about once every 30 hours. Deimos is about 9.9 .9 Miles big. Astronomer Asaph Hall, seen in this picture, discovers both moons Phobos and Deimos on August 17, 1877. Astronomer Galileo Galilei was the first to observe Mars through his telescope. Polar ice caps have been noted as seen here in this picture. Water is believed to exist on Mars, making it suitable for Earthlings to one day live here. Mars days last 24 hours, 37 minutes. Orbits the sun, 687 days. Size at the equator, 4,222 miles. From pole to pole, 4,196 miles. Atmosphere makeup, 95% carbon dioxide, 3% nitrogen. Temperature near the poles, minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit. At the equator, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It was the Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli who observed what appeared to be called canals on Mars in 1877. Canals, as seen in this picture, was presumed to be dug out by deceased Martians. This was to bring water from the poles to where they had once lived. Could there be life on Mars since the polar ice caps would offer life water to live? Mariner 4 is launched on board this Atlas LV-3 Algina D rocket. Launched November 28, 1964 from Cape Canaveral. Mariner 4 travels hundreds of millions of miles through space to arrive at Mars on July 14, 1965. It takes the very first close-up picture of planet Mars as seen in the next picture. One of the first up-close photos of planet Mars. But the big question is this. Will you be the first Earthling to live and work on planet Mars? We now travel out farther from the sun to what is called the asteroid belt. Orbits around the sun located between the planets Mars and Jupiter. Millions of big rocks orbit the sun held in check by gravity as they stay between Mars and Jupiter. What is so amazing about this is the average distance between each asteroid is some 600,000 miles. Asteroid Ceres was the first one to be discovered in 1801. It was discovered by accident by the astronomer in the next picture. Italian astronomer and priest Giuseppe Piazzi discovered Ceres on January 1st, 1801. 
There will be many more asteroids that will soon be discovered by other astronomers as well. An asteroid by definition is a small body of rock that flies through space. Normally asteroids are found between Mars and Jupiter. Here in this picture one can see how Ceres is made up of three different things. Ceres is made up one, a thin dusty outer crust, two rocky inner core, three water ice layer. We now briefly take a look at comets as seen here in this picture. This comet is called Hades Comet. It appears in our solar system basically once every 75 years. Hades Comet was discovered by the astronomer in the next picture. British astronomer Edmund Haley, 1656-1742. Discover a Haley's Comet in 1705 and last seen in 1986. It won't reappear in our solar system until the year 2061. The comet's anatomy is made up of one nucleus, two tail, three ion gas tail. The definition of a comet is a small icy body rock that flies through space entering our solar system for a brief moment and then leaves. Here is a typical pathway of where a comet enters and leaves our solar system. We will now briefly take a look at what astronomers call Meteorites, also known as shooting stars. A meteorite is a small piece of rock broken off from a comet or asteroid and falls upon the Earth through its atmosphere. The size of a meteorite is about the size of an average golf ball. Some Earthlings make wishes on these shooting stars when they see one. We now turn to what is called the outer planets, also known as the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Tune. Planet Jupiter, king of the gods, fifth planet from the sun and the largest, size 43,441 miles big. First to take note of Jupiter, the Babylonian astronomers, orbits of the sun every 11.9 years. Length of a day, zero days, nine hours and 56 minutes. Number of moons, 67. Chemical composition, ammonia crystals, and sulfur. Largest planet in the solar system. No land mass can be found on Jupiter. Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei was the first to view Jupiter with his newly invented telescope in 1610. Galileo also noted that the four largest moons of Jupiter orbited the planet and the Earth. Centered theory was therefore incorrect. Hmm, Copernicus was right. The sun is the center of the solar system. Greek astronomer Ptolemy in AD 100 developed the Earth's center solar system theory seen in the next picture. Here is a picture of the Earth's center diagram Ptolemy had developed. It was unchallenged for centuries until astronomer Nicholas Copernicus in 1514 developed the heliocentric solar system. Then about 100 years later, Italian Galilei confirmed that the heliocentric theory was correct because smaller objects orbited the bigger one. Here is a diagram of the heliocentric model of the solar system. A sun is the largest object in the system. Therefore, the smaller objects orbit it because it's large gravity pole. Jupiter's four largest moons seen here in this picture, Europa, Ganymede, Io Callisto. Jupiter is made up of several belts and zones that flow around the planet. Some of these belts and zones flow in opposite direction of each other. There is one most noticeable thing found and studied by both astronomers and scientists alike. A great red spot seen here in this picture rotates in about 9 hours, 55 minutes, and 42 seconds been observed by astronomers for some 350 years. Winds travel as fast as 270 miles per hour here or compared to an F4 tornado on Earth. Our next largest gas giant planet is planet Saturn, god of agriculture, sixth planet from the sun. Chemical composition, ammonia, methane, and water. Number of moons, 62. Distance from the sun, about 890 million miles away. Length of a day, zero days, 10 hours, 42 seconds. 
orbits the sun every 29 years, first observed through the telescope by Galileo Galilei. Most notable thing about Saturn is its rings. The most interesting moon of Saturn is Titan because it has liquid water on it and Earthlings need this to survive on any alien world other than our own. Here is a picture of planet Saturn's eight divisions of its rings. NASA sends a space probe Cassini-Huygens to study the rings and the moon Titan. Cassini space probe arrives at planet Saturn in 2004 and begins to study the, the rings. The rings are believed to be millions of broken rock, possibly from a destroyed asteroid. In 2005, the space probe Huygens is deployed on the moon Titan to study the water composition. Our next gas giant planet we now will take a look at is called Uranus. Here's a picture of Uranus. Planet Uranus. This is from the sun about 1.7 billion miles away. Pale bluish color. Orbits the sun once every 84 years. Number of moons 27. Length of a day 0 days, 17 hours, and 14 minutes. Planet Uranus. Also known as Ice Rock. Size 15,759 miles big. Wind gusts on planet Uranus is about 560 miles per hour as compared to an F5 tornado on Earth. Tilts on its side, it has rings around it as well. Uranus has about 13 rings that go around it as seen here in this picture. Planet Uranus was discovered by the person seen in the next picture. British astronomer William Herschel 1738-1822, Field of Study, Music, and Astronomy, discovers Uranus in 1781. Five largest moons of Uranus seen here in this picture. Here is a comparison picture of Earth and Uranus with the sense of their sizes. No Earthly could live here as well because there is no solid ground to stand on and the gases would be lethal. We now travel to our last planet in our amazing solar system, Neptune. Planet Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun, fourth gas giant in our solar system. Planet Neptune. This is from the Sun about 2.7 billion miles away. Orbits the Sun once every 165 years. Length of a day, zero days, 16 hours, and 6 minutes. Discovered in 1846 by the two astronomers seen in the next couple of pictures. French astronomer Urban Levier, mathematician, 1811-1877. German astronomer Johann Galli, 1812-1910. Planet Neptune. Number of moons, 14. Size, 15,299 miles big. Also has five rings around it as well. Voyager 2 space probe is the only probe to fly by this planet in our solar system. The Voyager 2 space probe is the only spacecraft to fly by this last planet in our amazing solar system. This happened in 1989. Here is a view of planet Neptune as seen from the moon Triton. It was discovered on October 10, 1846 by the astronomer seen in the next picture. British astronomer William Lassell, 1799-1880. Our last place to visit in our amazing solar system is what is called the Kuiper Belt. It was predicted to exist in 1993 by American dust astronomer Gerard Kuiper. It is named in his honor. Things like dwarf planet Pluto, asteroids, and other debris orbit around our sun here. Indeed, we Earthlings live in an amazing solar system as we have just looked at. Only time will tell when we discover when we look up and... Beyond, Beyond our, our galaxy. galaxy.